Hello everybody, my name is Tierra Monks and I am a former foster youth. And I wanna say that the foster system has been incredible for me. Um, I have a very rough, hard, but also a learning experience journey that I faced, you know, growing up from my time in the foster care system until now. Um, there's a stigma that, you know, when you're put in a foster care system, you only have like two options and it's to fail and to fail. Um, people don't really root for us, so we have to really root for ourselves. Department of Children and Family Services, all the social workers, um, CPS, the foster care system in, in general, they do a really good job at supporting us, giving us that extra support that we are missing from our family. And DCFS is why I chose the career that I chose. Um, I had an amazing social worker. I will never forget her name. Her name was Veronica. And she helped me from the time that we went into the system until I wanna say our case closed. Um, and it was a, it was a, it was a really, it was a really learning, it was a, it was challenging, but it was also a learning experience. And I got to see that, you know, I'm put into this system. I have to succeed because, you know, there's people that are doubting you, want to see you fail. And being in the system is easy to fall astray. But when your mind is strong and you have the support that you need, you will you will thrive and i want to say that i had so many stones thrown at me and i could have gave up i could have given up but i didn't i persevered and i'm here today <laughs> i'm here today as a living breathing witness that when we are in a system we will thrive and we can thrive and we can make it so a little bit about me um, I was in a system with six of my siblings, so we were all split up two to a home. I hated it. I wanted my siblings. I wanted, at the time, I wanted my mom and dad. I didn't understand why I was being taken away. I didn't know who these people were. I'm like, you know, I'm used to this environment and I got pulled out of it and now I'm in this environment. So that was something that I couldn't understand. My caregivers were abusive. Uh, I faced a lot of emotional and physical abuse with mine. Um, not to say that every caregiver and every foster family will be the same, because they're not. I have seen some wonderful caregivers and it's, it, it stuns me at how much they, they love the kids that are brought into their homes. Mine's, unfortunately, I got the short end of the stick, but my social worker came through. Um, she came and she she didn't stop until she got us all uh, reunified with our grandparents. Um, so that was a really good that was a really good experience for me. I I felt relieved. I was happy. Um, I was happy. Uh, while with my grandparents, you know, my social worker still showed up. She did her her visits to make sure we were all good, we were all squared away, and we were. Um, so Veronica is why I chose to go into the career field that I'm in now. I am currently um, going to school for my master's. Uh, I graduated with my bachelor's degree in sociology, and now I'm going to um, I'm going to school for my master's for social work. Uh, and I think it all has to do with the way I grew up and the circumstances that were, you know, that I've had to endure and the trauma. I feel like a lot of us in the foster care system experiences some level of trauma and we walk with it. Through our lives, we walk with that trauma and there is no, there is no easy way to maneuver it, to, to navigate through it, other than the support from the foster care system social services, DCFS, your social worker, um, your transitional coordinator, they are all here to really support you. And I, 
I want to say that I, I really used all of the resources that were given to me because at this point, you know, I'm on my own. Um, I felt like I needed to succeed because my parents failed me. So it was like, okay, my parents failed me. I cannot fail myself. I went through a lot of trauma as a child. Um, from the age of 14, um, my childhood was ripped away from me. I could not experience, you know, being a child, being a preteen, being a teenager. I grew up before my time. Um, I was sexually molested by my uncle from the ages from the age of 14 up until 18. During that uh, time, uh, I could not. I was scared to tell anybody because you know, trauma has a way of bring a big cloud over you and I was scared. So um, I endured that abuse for years up until the time that I did tell my family, my blood family, and they all chose to protect the man and sweep my situation right under the rug. And I feel like a lot of us go through 